so I drain log. So all I've done here is I have set up a really simple scene. I have a torus knot. I have a plane. Um, I have a normal background. I have a standard target spotlight, um, and I have a camera. Um, I don't need two, so this one goes one. So there's my camera view. Um, so the first thing that you want to do is I'm actually going to go back to my perspective view here and I am just going to zoom out in all my viewports and I want to start off by creating a gizmo. So I am going to go over to my, um, let's see, over here to my space warps. I'm going to go over to geometric deformable. And actually, sorry, I took that back. I'm going to go to helpers first, which is right here in this little uh, measuring tape. Um, under the drop down here, you're going to go to atmospheric apparatus. And you want to drag out a box gizmo. Now, this box gizmo is going to control um, where you want your fog to be. Just like any other standard parameter, um, standard primitive, sorry, it's totally um, manipulable. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag out a gizmo. Um, so if I have a box that's about this tall, my, my fog is going to be that tall. So if I go to my camera view in this viewport, I'll just go ahead and press C. Um, you can see that it's totally taking everything up. So if I just go back here, um, I might make this a little bit longer. Um, I might also adjust the height. And I just want fog in a little bit of my scene. So I can also move this up. And we can always manipulate this later. So now the next thing that I want to do, now that my gizmo is set up, um, I am going to go over and add my atmospheric effect, which is my volume fog. So if I go to my rendering tab and I go down to environment, you can also access this by pressing 8 on your keyboard. Um, we are going to go to atmosphere and effects. So we're going to add a volume fog effect and say OK. Under volume fog, we are going to pick our gizmo. So I'm going to go to pick a gizmo. And I'm going to click on this gizmo that I created in my scene. So you're going to see that um, a new cursor shows up. So I'm going to pick gizmo. Let's hover over here. The computer's lagging a little bit. And you're going to see that volume fog was added to my gizmo in my modify tab. Um, and we can do some editing within the environment and effects dialog. So if I click on volume fog and scroll down, um, we have a lot of different things that we can edit. So the first thing that I want to do is I'm just going to go into this viewport and I want to render it to see how it turns out. Okay, so it's looking very fog-like, um, but I'm not really liking the way that it's looking. It's really, really dense. So what I can do is I can keep this window open and I can go over here and I can say, all right, I want my density to be a little bit lower. So let's bring this down to 10. Um, and what I can do is I can go back to my rendered frame window. I can render that again. And you're going to see that it's spread out a lot more. Um, a couple other parameters that I like to play around with are um, fractal and turbulence. So fractal is going to make this fog much more noisy. So if I go to render again, um, you're going to see that the fog is a little bit more dissipated. Um, it's more irregular. And we can actually even adjust that even more. So if I go to my noise threshold here, um, high and at 1 is the max that you can go. Um, low is 0. So that's pretty much saying the range of noise or the range of um, irregularity that you're going to want. So if I, for example, put this down to 0 0.5, you're going to see a difference. Um, and also, I'm just going to choose back to one. Uh, uniformity, if you have a uniformity of one, that means that your fog is just going to be a flat sheet. Um, sometimes this look can be kind of cool, uh, depending on what you're looking for. Um, but I prefer to keep the uniformity at zero, um, at least for some of my projects, because I like fog to be a little less in your face than that. Um, you can also change the size of the fog particles. So, for example, if I were to bring this down to 5, I'll be a little drastic here. Um, we can say render, and it's going to make your fog much, much finer. Um, also, on the contrary, if I bump, bump this up to, let's say, 50, 
um, will go in the totally opposite direction and you say render, you're going to have these really sweeping clouds. So just a couple things to think about. Now with the step size, let's go ahead and decrease this down to one. Um, you're going to see that you're going to have a little bit of, um, it, you're just going to have fog that's going to turn out much smoother. So the other thing that you can do here is um, you can change the color of your fog. So sometimes I don't like to keep it like true, true white. Um, I'll gray it out just a little bit. I'll say okay. And I'll say render. And in my opinion, it makes it look a little bit more normal. Um, let's see what else can I tell you. The other option is to invert it. And um, whatever areas were white before, it's going to replace those with black areas and just invert the pattern of the fog. So depending on your scene, um, you can manipulate this volume fog however you want. The one tip that I will give you is if you are um, outside of a camera or outside of your um, perspective view, let's say you're in, a, in an orthographic view, and you try to render it, your fog is not going to show up. So if you are having issues with your fog and it is not showing up, um, make sure that you are not in an orthographic view. For example, I'll try rend rendering my front view, same situation. You have to be in a perspective or a camera view in order for your fog to work. So final thing here is you can go back to this gizmo. You can edit the parameters however you want. Um, so if I want to make this fog really, really small, which I'm sure there's a use for that somewhere. Um, or let's say I wanted to have my fog rest more towards the top of my scene. I'll just move that up. I know that doesn't look very good, but that's okay. Um, and you render it, you can also have that too. So you have um, kind of like this cloud effect that's happening. So that could be a good use as well. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section and I will respond to you. I uh, hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching.